I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. Now I'm going to talk to you about distance control. So a lot of guys go, oh Johnny, uh, how do I control the distance? And I've done many videos before about how to go in and out, or how to stay, how to go all the way back, or how to go all the way in. And um, I've already done all these videos, so I'll just try to do something new, a different take on this, this common topic. So I think of distance control as timing, okay? I think of it as timing. Do we have a... Uh, do we have like a harmonious timing or do we have a clash timing? So a harmonious timing is like this. When I feel that he wants to go forward, I go away. When I feel that he wants to go away is when I go forward. So it's like an ebb and flow, right? We're like waves in the sea, just kind of goes back and forth together, something like that. When he throws the right hand is when I go to my right hand. And then when he throws the left hand, that's when I go to my right, you know, that's when I throw my right hand and I go to my left hand. So there's a lot of back and forth like this, harmonious back and forth. Or other times, I might not want a, a smooth timing, right? I want a, a clashing timing. That every time we go forward, boom! And then every time we go away, well, no, no, I, I never see two fighters jump away. But like when he goes away, I don't care. So sometimes it's like two fighters go like this, other times two fighters go like this. And a lot of it also has to do with the style that we fight. So for example, if you're always like a, a, a evade and then counter type of fighter, you're always smooth, right? He punches, you evade, you punch, he evades, he punches, you evade. You take turns punching and evading. But if you want to do another way is that uh, to clash that clashing timing, to cut the distance, you try to punch right away. Punch, try to trade, right? Punch at the same time, the way both of you come forward at the same time and that would allow you to, to go forward very quickly. That's why fights with two brawlers a lot of fun to watch. And actually sometimes fights with two brawlers can be very messy because then they, they swing and they throw themselves all over each other. So, you know, it's a matter of that, of the four techniques I already talked about, but now, like I said, I think of distance as timing. I never think of it as like, he's three feet away and I need to jump three feet. It doesn't matter how far he is away, I just try to, to be ready so that when he goes forward, I go forward at the same time and we get some magic to happen in the middle. Anyways, I'm John from Expert Boxing. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, check out my website, expertboxing.com. Thanks for watching.